All right, good morning, everybody. It is April 22nd, and uh, believe it or not, I think our storm season is starting today in western South Dakota. Usually that doesn't happen until mid to late May, um, but we've got a really powerful system coming through the Midwest today. What may start as a tornado risk for southwest South Dakota, as well as the dry line all the way down through Texas, may very well end up uh, in a blizzard for the northern Black Hills and northwest South Dakota dumping up to two feet of snow. So. This is going to be a really interesting one. It's actually beautiful out this morning, so I've got a couple of things that I need to do around the house before we get going. Um, but we're going to kind of do a little weather vlog today, show you what it's like in the morning, how things develop in the afternoon. Hopefully we can get some good storm chasing content and then probably update uh, tomorrow as well as this transitions to snow and potentially significant accumulating snow for the area. So thanks for sticking around, everybody. We'll see what this wild day of weather has in store. station food to tide us over and we'll probably top up our tank in Hermosa so we'll start heading south towards where uh, presumably the better tornado parameters are supposed to be and unfortunately it looks like we'll be dealing with a very tricky road network today kind of going through the badlands and the reservations so uh, it will definitely not be without its challenges but parameters look good we're starting to get some agitated cumulus on satellite so that always, that's always good. So hopefully we'll be looking at uh, some towers before too long. Don't go chasing supercells. Some decent uh, back shear on our anvil, so seemingly almost due north, but expecting it to turn kind of east. Well, that would have been fun. Yikes. Park now. Trying to keep ahead of the storm, we had to core punch it. 
saw some probably golf ball size tail. I don't think there was anything too much bigger than that, but there was a lot of it. Uh, so hopefully we can get ahead of this thing on I-90 and then get a view of the structure because we've kind of just been below the base for a long time now. So hopefully we can get a view. guys, we are heading back to Rapid City now. You know, got some decent storm structure. Um, nothing really remotely tornadic. I don't think it ever really tried to produce. It had a few RFD cuts, but uh, no wall clouds or anything truly threatening. So just kind of a structure show today, but for early April, I'll definitely take it. Um, ended up kind of east of Billsburg here up on Highway 34. Heading back now, got about two hours uh, back towards home, and it looks like we might have some storms meet us kind of part way there, possibly in Rapid City, maybe a little farther east, depending on uh, how good of a time we make. So, all in all, not too bad of a first chase for the season. Happy to see some storms and, you know, get some actual structure shots. I should have some good stills, I think. So, even though there was really nothing crazy exciting, video time lapse wise, I did. At least get the drone up, got some good shots with that, um, and then I think I got some pretty decent structure still. So now after we get home, we'll see what storms are going to be there to greet us in Rapid City, and then it's part two tomorrow or overnight where everything changes to snow and we have blizzard warnings for up to two feet of snow in the northern Black Hills. So this is only the first half of the system. We'll see what the second colder half holds tomorrow. It is Saturday morning here in Rapid City, and as you can see, we've transitioned to snow. Uh, we had some pretty good storms last night, pretty good moisture out of them, a couple really loud cracks of thunder, so it's good to hear the first real thunder of the year, uh, outside of chasing yesterday, of course, but um, we're only supposed to get about one to six inches here in Rapid City, kind of depending on how the upslope banding sets up. However, in the northern hills, they're supposed to get about two feet of snow, so it's kind of crazy to go from storm chasing yesterday having storms last night and then about 12 hours later transitioned fully over to snow so just kind of a glimpse as to uh, what spring in the black hills can offer kind of just wanted to do a little weather vlog to show you guys how interesting it can be up here and uh, if you're a weather enthusiast it's truly one of the coolest places to live so thanks for watching everybody hope you enjoyed this one and until next time keep an eye on the sky